Hey guys, how's it going? So, what's been happening with me? Well, um, as you probably know, <laughs> those of you that follow me on Twitter definitely know, last, um, last Friday was my birthday and I turned 30. Yay! I've not ridden my bike since last week. It's just, the weather's been rubbish and I've had other things on. This is the first time I've been out. Yeah, had a good day. Um, went out with a few mates on Saturday. And then the thing that I'm really talking about, yesterday, went up to Donington and done the Ron Haslam track day school. Which, if you've never done a track day before and you want to, I know it's a little bit more expensive, but I would thoroughly recommend it to anyone. It is a really good day out. The bikes are good, I mean you're using um, CBR 600, CBR 600 RRs. If you don't have a set of levers, it doesn't matter. They can lend them to you. In fact, they can lend pretty much the whole kit to you. Uh, they got professional photographers sort of around the track, which you can pay to take photos. What they do is they do a deal, 25 quid, which isn't too bad. I've seen some places where it's a lot more expensive. And they give you a disc with all the photos on, which I'll probably put into this video. Those of you that follow me again on Twitter or Facebook will have seen these photos yesterday, but I'll chuck them in the video anyway, around here, or here, or here. They also print out, sort of you choose, you print, they print out the best photo for you on a like six by nine in a nice little pack thing. Um, so anyway, uh, I guess what I'll do, I'll just sort of explain briefly how, I know there's been loads of reviews and stuff about it already. Um, I'll just sort of briefly go through how the day starts. So, obviously you're given a time suit which is a slot you come in to do it so you go in there and you're put into that group of people that has all been given that time you're given whatever you need to get ready hand over other stuff put an armband on and then you go off to the briefing room where they sort of brief you about track track safety different flag colors and so on you wait right there um, then you're taken out to the paddock area where you are met by the paddock manager or pit lane manager who will then introduce you to it 
in the uh, Premier one which I done, which is the 600 RRs, they uh, you, they tried same for tuition of uh, two students to one instructor. <coughs> so you you handed the bike, or you given you allocated a bike number, uh, you allocated your instructor. He sort of gets to know you, what you want out of the track day and so on, so you can sort of tailor the package to you. Yeah, so they do that. Then you go out for your first... So you get three sessions, each about 15 minutes long. Roughly, you're looking at about maybe five or six laps a session. Depends how quick you are. So they take you out for the first one. The first couple of laps you use the sighting laps, sort of learning where the braking points are and so on and where you're going. And then you sort of crank, start cranking up a little. You know, the instructor, as you're moving along, he sort of gets you moving a bit quicker, a bit quicker, so you're just sort of keeping up with him. And then eventually what he'll do, he'll um, tell you to swap over with your other guy, or with the other student. So you, he sort of has a chance to sort of watch you both. I've got to give it to him, I mean, the instructors are riding around on the CBF 1000s. You know, couldn't be more upright if they tried. It's just really funny seeing them just, you know, lackadaisically going around corners, looking in their mirrors, watching you. The only thing they're doing is they're watching for the faster moving bikes, and they'll just sort of point to the left, and you follow them to the left. And just wait for the faster bikes to go past, and you sort of can continue on. So after that, you come back in. Um, you have sort of a little briefing with him, he sort of tells you a few things. If he, one thing he found with uh, the pair of us was wasn't a, wasn't moving around on the bike enough, you know, so going into corners quite slowly and quite sort of upright. I'm not really going to be throwing myself around a bike on the roads because I don't think there's a point. Well, not unless I'm having a lot of fun. <laughs> yeah, so they got a few couple of um, fire blades set up in uh, one of the paddock areas on paddock stands. They basically get you to sit on it and then get you moving about on a stationary bike. Just, um, you know, sort of get the feel of actually moving your bum around. At that point we found another instructor was free, so I got moved into another instructor. So the pair of us, the pair of us actually had a one-to-one -one intuition, which was a bit better. So we went back out on the track again, had a few more laps, again getting quicker and quicker, honing out, getting off the bike a bit more, moving around a bit more. Then that one session was over. We then went in for another briefing with the first guy that briefed us on some more advanced techniques about your braking areas and so on. And just sort of, you know, telling you a bit about it. Then we went back out again for our third and final session. I was getting off the bike quite a bit then, it was pretty good. No knee down, but it's not necessary really, is it? Not unless you're sort of racing, or you're doing it all the time. Maybe if I'd done more, maybe I'd sort of aim for more knee down, but at the moment, no real need. The third session felt the best by a long shot. I wish I could have stayed out a bit longer and done some more laps, but that's what you pay for. I've got no idea where I'm going today. So after that, go back to the changing rooms, get changed very quickly, get into the debriefing area, where they just debrief us, give out some certificates and some goodie bags and so on. And you're sort of on your merry way. The goodie bags aren't anything special. It's just really a load of advertising material for Honda and affiliated companies. A few sort of discount vouchers and so on, which I may or may not use, depends on if I need them. <laughs> uh, then I went and got a photo, got the photo sorted out, and that was it. Done. Leave on it and go for the drive home. Oh, so I actually went up on uh, Tuesday night because it's a long old drive to Donington, and I'd rather sort of be up fresh the next day rather than having to panic about getting there on time. And I've just camped up there. There's a campsite right next door to the track. So I pitch up saying camp there for a night. It's cheap and cheerful. Um, yeah, so like I say, that's it really about the track, about uh, this experience. I know a proper track day lasts the whole day, and you get it's uh, it's almost open pit lane, so you get as many sessions as you 
Won't really. But for those that are a bit nervous about doing a track day, uh, yeah, for those that are a bit nervous about doing a track day, like I was, it's a really good introduction to it on actually track riding and how to get the most out of it. Would I recommend it? Yes, I would thoroughly recommend you do it. Even if you don't, even if you've done a few track days but don't have the, all the skills there, you want to sort of fine tune them. They really know what they're doing. I mean, and I, I guess I know I could have gone a hell of a lot faster around the track by the fact that the instructor I was following quite closely as we're going around some bends is sort of pointing behind his back, you know, so one hand behind his back, telling me to sort of get out of it more. <laughs> Overall, the experience, it's really put me in a sort of frame of mind to want to do some more track days, so I want to get some... I've got a leather jacket, so I'll probably go and get a pair of leather trousers which can zip up to the jacket, and I'll get some more booked in. Probably won't be able to do many track probably won't be able to do any track days this year now because sort of the time of the year and so on but definitely 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 next year I'll be doing a few I think who knows probably even end up with a I know what I'm like I'll probably even end up with a second bike for just track days anyway that's it let's say I'm going to chuck the video photos in at some point um, my only sort of criticism oops sorry my only sort of comment criticism of the day I say other than the session maybe being just a little bit too short you know it could be a little bit longer or so on is maybe yeah is maybe that they their bikes, maybe they could fit, uh, you know, so we're, we've got a professional photographers going around taking the photos, and they only really do the photos for maybe a couple of areas <clears throat> so you might not necessarily get the best photos out of the day is maybe they could fit cameras to the bikes in some way, just so you can get sort of a better visual memory of the day that'd be pretty cool Ooh, pardon me. That's, like, that's my only sort of comment. I, I, I left um, some feedback in. They got a guest book, so I left some feedback there. But yeah, I would definitely recommend that day. Recommend it as a day out. Um, actually, doing the premiere um, session. We go in. Yeah, I'm um, doing the premiere session. Now entitles me that I can go back any time within the next two years and do the Elite session, which is another £100 on top that you get to ride around on the fire blades. And the tuition on the, on the Elites are one-to-one, -one, definitely. And you might even be lucky to be graced with your instructor being Ron Haslam himself, or Leon Haslam, depending on things. Um, and the fire blades are set up with data logging tools so there's a memory card in there or USB stick or something and it logs everything you know what gear you were in what how fast you were going where you was on the brakes when you was off the brakes throttle and they can really sort of start getting more and more out of you to get around that track as quick as possible and it's also can I said it's about four 20 minute sessions instead and it's um open pit lane so you just come in and out as you please rather than being having a set time of when you're going to go in and out anyway yeah that's it if you've got any comments or questions you know hit me up and i'll try and answer the best i can i say again really really great day i thoroughly recommend it so uh, anyway yeah thanks for watching guys ride safe see you later bye